Hello, and welcome to Quick Charge by Electrek. Keeping you in the fast track with daily Tesla and electric vehicle news. I'm Mikey G, and it's Saturday, April 9th. Some stories coming out from Tesla's Cyber Rodeo event. After delaying virtually all new vehicle launches for the last few years, Elon Musk has set a firm timeline for the production of the Cybertruck, Roadster, and Tesla Semi. Back in 2017, Tesla unveiled the Semi and the Roadster, then in 2018 with the Cybertruck. They were supposed to come to market around 2019, 2020, and a little bit later for the Cybertruck. After a myriad of delays and even pre-orders, we finally have a firm time. At one point, it was said that the semi-production would be delayed until battery supply caught up, noting that a single Tesla car can fetch a high price for the amount of batteries inside. This timeline for the semi may indicate that battery production is also on a roadmap to high volume. Tesla has officially delivered the first made-in-Texas Model Y vehicle, and they're still being kind of vague about the new version of the SUV, especially regarding specs and pricing. Musk noted during the event the advantages of the new version, such as the simplicity of manufacturing, weight reduction, and also the efficiency improvements. However, he didn't reveal any specs or pricing about the vehicle. It's actually quite strange considering that the vehicle is being delivered to a customer, although that customer very well could be a Tesla employee. At the event, Electrek was able to confirm that the Made in Texas Model Y was listed as the Model Y standard all-wheel drive, however that's not listed on the online configurator as of now. The new Model Y standard all-wheel drive is likely the new all-wheel drive 279 mile range vehicle that was recently filed with the EPA. Tesla may be the only car company that can fully pre-sell a car without knowing the cost, weight, or range. Elon Musk has given a timeline for the production of Tesla's Optimus Project, a humanoid robot capable of doing general tasks. When first announced, it seemed like a distant project for the car company, but just a few months ago it was announced that the robot is taking a higher priority from the development team. Regarding the robot, Musk said, quote, I think we have a shot of being in production for version 1 of Optimus, hopefully next year. This seems like an aggressive goal from Electrek's take, especially since Tesla's head of AI recently began a sabbatical leave for several months. Elon Musk announced that Tesla is going to build a new futuristic electric vehicle as a dedicated robotaxi. This is a model that has been adopted by other autonomous driving companies, such as Zooks. It allows for more freedom in the design since the vehicle won't be using a driver and therefore can eliminate the seat and controls. Musk didn't offer a timeline on this new vehicle, but it's likely it won't be a priority until the automaker can fulfill the promise it already has for full self-driving to tens of thousands of owners who plunk down money for the feature. Tesla is going to build a solar and megapack farm for an energy storage system that will power a Bitcoin mining facility. Early in 2021, Tesla made its own investment in Bitcoin and began accepting it as payment for vehicles. However, they took a few steps back a few days later, removing the option to pay for vehicles, citing concerns over energy generation to mine a Bitcoin. And now Blockstream and Blocks, which is formerly Square, have partnered on a green Bitcoin mining facility in Texas, and they also partnered with Tesla to provide 3.8 megawatts of solar and 12 megawatt hours of battery pack systems for the project. The company has announced that the project is actually under construction already. Nissan Motor Company unveiled plans to bring laminated solid-state batteries to market by the year 2028, beginning with a prototype production facility. The decision is part of Nissan's Ambition 2030 strategy, which now includes plans to launch an EV powered by solid-state batteries in the same year, 2028. Many companies have been chasing the solid-state battery dream, most of them citing only 5-10 to years until development is retail-ready. Many of those same companies have turned tail on the same idea. And now, Nissan has announced something similar. Nissan believes that their solid-state batteries can reduce the cost to $75 per kilowatt hour down to $65 per kilowatt hour after 2028, putting EVs at a cost parity with internal combustion engine competitors, at least at that time. In today's community comment, Single Speed says, Lucid Air for sale on Bring a Trailer, already at $105,000. 
well, you know what, single speed, I took a look and actually it climbed up a little bit more to the current bid of 150,000 big ones. That is a lot of money for a car. Thanks for watching Quick Charge by Electrek. We also have an audio version on your favorite podcast player. I'm Mikey G, and I hope you have a great day.